How's everybody doing today? Uh, today we're going over page 74 in our Read 180 book. I know that we're not in class today, but need to give you some online instruction. And so you can find these pages on our Canvas for uh, Monday, September 28th. Okay, so this is going to be page 74. We're, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to watch the video because I can't share that with you. So basically, we're just going to go over the vocab today for this page and then um, I'll talk through it and I'll post the page for you to see it. So we're not going to be able to watch that video again, so we're just going to go over the vocab words. So let's take a look at the first words. The word, first word is fictionalized, okay? And that would mean um, something that is made up. So if I fictionalize a story, that would mean I make it up. So if I told you I went to the moon this weekend, that would be fictionalized, okay? The next word is isolation. Isolation means by myself. So if I go out in the woods and I go camping by myself, I would be in isolation. Nobody's around me. The next word is outsider. So outsider would be somebody that's outside of a group, okay, that maybe doesn't quite fit in or doesn't quite belong, okay? So for example, a, um, a, a person who is in a motorcycle gang might not fit in with a women's tennis team. They would be an outsider. Okay. And then the next word is reservation. So reservation is a place where Native Americans stay in America, and it's where the U.S. government has given them land to live in America. And that is a reservation. And then the last word is tribe. So tribe would be um, a group of Native Americans that have similar culture, that live together, that um, call themselves a name. Um, for example, like the Utes or Anasazis or um, Apaches, for example. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to read through this, and we're just going to fill out the blanks as we go. So make sure you're following along. Native American writer Sherman Alexie grew up on a reservation. His childhood shaped who he is today. So reservations already filled in the blank for us. I know that reservation would be the correct word anyway because a reservation is a place where Native Americans live. Alexi had many health problems when he was young. In the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian, he tells a blank version of his experience having brain surgery as an infant. Okay, with the remaining words, we've already used reservation. Okay, I know he's telling some type of story Okay, so I have to decide, is, is the story isol fictionalized, isolation, outsider, or tribe? Okay, since he talks about having brain surgery as an infant, I think that maybe that could be the word fictionalized, that he made it up. So that sounds right if I read it out loud. In the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian, he tells a fictionalized version of his experience having brain surgery as an infant. So you'd go ahead and write fictionalized in the first blank. Sentence B, other children bullied Alexi for being different. Like many young people, he felt like an. So we have isolation, outsider, or tribe. Okay, I know he's not, he is by himself, but he wouldn't feel like he's in isolation. Since he doesn't belong with the group, he would feel like an outsider. So you go ahead and write that for B, outsider. Just before high school, Alexi decided to leave his reservation to attend a better school. Alexi was terrified. Leaving the reservation was like leaving his blank. Okay, so the last words we have left are isolation and tribe. So what makes the most sense here if I say Leaving the reservation was like leaving his, it wouldn't be isolation, it's gonna be tribe. Oops. Alexi believes he would not be writing books today if he hadn't left. Choosing to leave the reservation helped Alexi embrace the possibilities in the world. Leaving home eventually helped Alexi escape from fear and blank. Okay, the only word left is isolation, which makes sense because um, you'd want to escape isolation, which uh, he had at home at the reservation. And 
then the last sentence. Today, Alexei has traveled all over the world and his books have been published in 22 countries. Okay, it's a wonderful story of a Native American writer and we will talk more about this when we get back to class. Thanks.